Hi, this is Robert from Manhattan Wood Project. I'm here at my big toy store picking out some 2x4s for the Summer Woodworking 2x4 contest. I'm not going to tell you what the projects are, but I'm going to give you a hint. This is my first mate, Adam. What do you say, Adam? I want to thank my wife for her help recording that last clip. It wasn't easy for her to go in the middle of the store and get all the weird looks when she was recording a 30-something-year-old man and a 4-year-old boy growling at each other like pirates for about 5 minutes straight. But it sure was fun, and she did a great job recording it. Thank you so much, honey. And the best part was, not only was she the videographer or recorder or whatever the title is, she helped pick out the 2x4s behind me here, so that with luck, I'm going to be entering two awesome projects in the 2x4 contest. My wife's help actually started long before we went into the store though. At night, after we put the kids in bed, we like to get on the computer and watch videos of woodworkers handling their wood and using their tools. Out of all the wood we saw on the internet, and there's a lot of it, hardly any of it was fit to be put in a box, much less proudly displayed to friends, family, and strangers. Now my wife thought that some of the wood in those videos was pretty short and pretty soft. Now it may be because she's used to helping me with full-size hardwood, so maybe the camera just removes a couple inches. We noticed that some of the wood being used was pretty naughty. Now a little bit of naughtiness is okay, it adds character to a project. But too much naughtiness can risk your tools and be a safety hazard. Now we noticed that a lot of equipment was dusty, and a lot of tools looked like they either hadn't been handled or hadn't been handled properly for a long time. It was obvious that a lot of man caves had never had a woman's touch. Now we know that there's a lot of different joinery techniques out there, but it seemed like a lot of woodworkers only picked one or two techniques and banged it out as fast as they could. They'd nail it, they'd screw it, maybe they'd play with pocket holes or biscuits, and those were all fine and fun to play with. But they'd never try any exotic techniques like tongue and groove or hardwood plugs. Without my wife's help finding good wood, I would have been in the store by myself for a long, long time. Now, I was in the Navy for almost 10 years, but even I have a limit to how much wood I can handle over the course of a good three, four hours. It was especially crowded while we were in the store, and not only did my wife help me get out of there faster, but she made it easier on the other customers. You see, some of them tend to get a little freaked out when they walk down an aisle and find a person handling a lot of wood for an hour or more, just giving it a good in-depth examinations. Weird. After seeing some of the competition's videos online, it looks like I have a good shot in this contest. My wife agrees with me that my wood is bigger, harder, stronger, and straighter than any wood that we saw online. We can tell that my experience handling big tools and lots of wood is going to help me fill the first and second place holes in this contest. Even though I think I have the best wood, I challenge all of you to make your own projects entered in this contest. I welcome competition and I would love to see your wood. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or leaving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Manhattan Wood Project. Thank you very much for watching this video. I always appreciate my viewers and subscribers. I highly encourage all of you to enter the Summer's Woodworking 2x4 contest. I want to see what you can do with your wood. So good luck, and I'll see you at the 2x4 contest. Arrrr! It was obvious that a lot of man caves had never had a woman's touch. <laughs> But it seems like a lot of word, word bookers. Yeah, a lot of wood. But even I have a limit to how much wood I can handle over the course of a good three, four hours. <laughs>